Hey everyone, and welcome to my page. This is Whitney Green from The Favorite Glider. Um, tonight we are going to... Okay, it says I'm live now. Okay, hi everyone. This is Whitney Green from The Favorite Glider. Um, we are building the uh, Mike's Cup tonight. Jess Wood's toy. So we are going to learn how to build this toy tonight. I'm going to go ahead and wait a little bit until everyone gets here. Um, okay, we have three viewers. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to start with Mike. Let me go ahead and move the toy I was working on real quick. I was working on a little Frogger toy, and I was going to soup it up with, uh, with gaming stuff. So it was going to be really cute. But I will go ahead and move that over. And work on that later. Okay, so Mike is a fairly easy toy. So the, he is priced at uh, $65. And the reason why he is so pricey is because he is hard to find and he is pricey as a base. So he's like $35 shipped, usually. So sometimes he's like 40 bucks. But Either way, he's super cute, so he can't come with his little head, so usually we just have to discard that. So, but he's got a few screws in him. We always want to remove all the metal from the toy, and we have to drill a few holes in his feet. And then what's really cool is the screws in his little booty. We can use those holes as drainage holes, and so we only have to screw two more in the front, so if your glider goes to the restroom, they automatically just drain out of there. And by the way, who is all in here? I want to say hi to everyone. Hi, Adeline Hez. Nice to see you, hon. How are you doing? Are you related to uh, uh, Devin Hess? Are you related to Devin Hess? Sorry, I'm just bad with last names. But yeah, are, are you her daughter? Sorry, I just had to ask. But anyway, so uh, that's how we do Mike. And then I also drill a little hole in his hand so that I can put some chain. Okay, hi. Well, welcome. You get to learn how to make toys, and they're really fun to make. So much fun to make. But yeah, so I stream chain down here, and then I also hook him up to a little Frisbee, and then I decorate the Frisbee with some characters from Monsters, Inc., and then I decorate all that chain with all of these goodies. And I say all the goodies. I may not use all the goodies, but I use all the best goodies. Okay, here's all the people. Hi, Danny. Nice to see you. Hi, Angel. Nice to meet you. Hi, Sam. How are y'all? So glad to see you, and you're welcome. And I hope you guys learn a lot tonight. And... Um, here are the little characters that I like to add with Mike. I always add a Sully because that's his best friend. And then I always add a Boo. And she's all dressed up in that cute. So it got to keep it themed and got to keep it cute. But yeah, here's all the fun little goodies. I like to put it all over the stuff. And this, was the, this is a custom order. So usually the mic that I normally do is not as souped up as this mic is going to be. So Jess has asked uh, me to match her cage set, which has a lot more colors than this normal mic comes with. Normally mic um, comes with blue and green, and this mic comes with green, two types of purple, a white and a blue. So it will be very pretty and very, very decked out. I'm actually like wondering how it's going to look with all the stuff on it. It's going to be like, whoa, so much stuff. So, so nice to meet you, Christy. Thanks for joining in. It'll be really fun to see um, how this toy turns out and what you guys think. Cause it's going to be ridiculous. So thanks for joining in. Okay. Let's drill those holes real quick. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and place the Frisbee. So for beginners, I always say, get your worst eyeliner. And I know that sounds crazy, but yeah, get your worst eyeliner. I have like my little box of tools here, my little favorite little box of tools. And um, I look for my worst eyeliner. 
not saying what type of eyeliner it is because I don't want to get sued. But, uh, <laughs> okay, so wherever I drill the hole is going to be right in his feet. And it's really cool because there's already like little spots in his feet where it's like obvious, like, hey, you should drill here. So let's mark it up. I'm going to tilt him to the side. And then I'm just going to sort of guesstimate where his feet would land. And it's so hard to do this, like, while holding them up. So I'm just going to hope my expertise, like, know how to do this. But here, I'm going to prop my foot up. Hopefully that helps. And can you Oh, yeah, y'all can see. Okay, so here you can sort of use the light to help you out. There's like little dots where his feet should be. And so right, I can see he's right in the middle of the frisbee because there's a dot in the middle. And so I'm gonna mark it right here and just not even move the frisbee, but tiptoe over and then just mark right here. Okay, and look, we've got our perfect dots. Y'all can see that. We've got our little dots right there in the middle of the frisbee. And that's where we want our mic to sit and we want to also put two more dots to the right and to the left so that we know to drill left and right to the foot so that we can get him completely in there so as so there are four dots so we can secure his foot completely in there so here's my handy dandy Dremel light. I like the Dremel light because it gives enough pressure that it won't stop when you're drilling. And um, it, it's not constantly stopping on you because you're drilling too much. Um, it's portable and it's rechargeable. Um, that in itself should be the reason why you get it. <laughs> and the interchangeable heads are really wonderful. Um, I use the one fourth tool. Um, I can, I think I've added links to my page before for it, but if not, I can add another link this week. Um, but yeah, send me a message if you need any help with that. But these drill like a charm. And with these frisbees, you don't want to drill super hard because you will um, crack it. And these frisbees are actually quite expensive. You get them off of Oriental Trading Company, and you basically have to buy a 12-pack, which is $16.99. And the 12-pack only includes four of your favorite color. So, like, four blue. And I think that sucks. Like, you should be able to get, like, you know, 12 of your favorite color, and then, like, you know, a variety pack if you want it. So... You know, you got to be really careful with the blues. <laughs> I'm actually running out of blues, so I have to spend like $100 to restock on my blues. Just the blues. And I'm like, this is like an inconvenience, y'all. Inconvenience. So, just a little fact. Okay, so we're drilling these holes. We want to hold the frisbee steady. There we go. Drill nice big holes. That's why I wear glasses whenever I build toys. Because it flies everywhere. So, and you can wear safety goggles if you don't. Um, you don't have to, but at least train yourself to blink. You know, I mean, it will fly in your eye, and if you've had a jagged piece of plastic in your eye, you know it's not very comfortable. Okay, who just joined? I want to see who joined. Um, say hi. Okay, so it looks like these are pretty cleaned up, and you want to clean up your holes really well. Um, because, uh, it, it just, number one, it's, it's for safety reasons. You don't want a bunch of ex excess, uh, melted plastic around. You don't want your gliders to chew that. And then also, uh, it just looks nice. Um, there's no jagged edges. There's nothing sharp. There's nothing, um, you know, just uncomfortable for your gliders to feel on their feet. Um, but yeah, look, look at that. That's all pretty. Look at that. Look at all those pretty holes. So, okay. And I can make as many jokes as I want to about pretty holes and all this stuff. So, okay. So here we go. 
We're going to drill into the feet of Mike. Okay, so I usually do this on the table, but I'll try to hold it up. And if I drill my hand, it, it, it I've drilled my hand twice today, so it is what it is, you know. Okay. Oh, actually, I need the battery for the drill. Um, I think it's in the kitchen. One moment. So where does it, everybody live? Is anyone else in Texas or are we all over the U.S.? Is there anyone out of the U.S.? Like anywhere interesting? Yeah, not Mike. We don't want to hurt Mike. I know, but you know what? Mike can hurt his feet just a little bit. He is a monster after all. Okay, here we go. I think this will work. Okay, there we go. That was easy. Okay, it didn't hurt Mike that bad. There we go, there we go. Easy peasy. Kentucky, Kentucky, very nice. I've been to Kentucky before. Okay, I'm from Lubbock, Texas. So, nice, beautiful West Texas Bible Belt. <laughs> Dusty West Texas. More in the panhandle. Interesting fact, Buddy Holly came from here. And we are home to the Texas Tech Red Raiders. Arizona, oh goodness, must be really hot there right now. It's still not hot, like super hot here yet. It's still in the 80s which is really rare. It's usually like super hot by now. So how hot is it in Arizona right now, Danny? I don't even want, oh, I can't even imagine how hot it is. Okay, and so we cleaned the, the holes on his feet so that they're soft to the touch. They're not jagged. 97, oh, and that's dry heat. Or is it humid in your area? I don't even know. Not that bad yet. Well, that's good. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and take the screws out of Mike so we can attach his feet and go ahead and screw the extra holes in Mike. And is Jess here? Jess, are you in the room? Okay, so I need to get my screwdriver. That's what I need. Okay. <sighs> Dry, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, dry heat's always, well, it's not as bad as humid heat, but it still packs a really heavy punch. It'll make you drop quicker, in my opinion. That's what Lubbock is, is dry heat. So. Okay, so we're removing the screws on Mike. And so basically, like, since we're removing his screws, we'll just have to zip tie him back together. And that's really super easy. So you're just going to drill holes in him and just zip tie through and pull them back together. Oh, that was easy. Look, I love this screwdriver because the end of it is magnetic. So it just pulls the screw out when it's, like, done, you know, unscrewing it. So that's pretty cool. So it... I never have to be like, am I done unscrewing it yet? Because look, look at, look at that. That's so cool. I don't know if they're like all magnet. I don't know if this is just something I just never learned in elementary school. But, I mean, I think it's cool. Maybe it is magnetic. <laughs> just something I learned. But, yeah, I'm going to be like done with this toy in like an hour. And y'all be like, really? That's so lame. Nah, maybe it'll take me a while to, to decorate since I have to decorate like five strands or something. I tried to pick like things to go on the toy that like I had to work with, you know, like drill holes in and, you know, explain and, you know, 
do something different with or you know that way I could like teach you different things so we will see how long this takes but Mike is just I mean he's easy to make so but did y'all see the Sully that I made do y'all want me to go get the Sully after after I've been working with Mike for a little bit so y'all can see the design I made for him so because that's the first one I've made so, and he goes with the mic pretty well. So, um, I find them on Amazon and Mercari. So, fun fact is that these are Disney relics. So, and when I say Disney relics is that they're from Disney parks. Um, they're like from like events at Disney parks. And um, see like, so these, this and that, this was a cup. And see, like, we wouldn't want to <coughs> keep this in there because this is a plastic thing. So we take this out and throw it away. But, um, and see, honestly, yeah, we can keep this. This is like hard plastic. This is the mold. But um, this is a cup from the Disney park. And it was produced in 2009. So, like, these are all limited supply. And these came out with those in 2009. And so, these are so limited that they're so hard to find that literally people who have bought these from 2009 have to want to post these. And so, that's, when, that's why it's, like, so hard for me to find them. But when I do find them, but I mean, lately there's been just a lot of them just being sold left and right. Um, like just in the recent weeks. Um, and that's, I've been able to stock up. But, um, you know, lately the price has been, you know, like 160 or 180 or 100 and something for both of those together. You know, they're not selling them solo for like, you know. 35 40 bucks you know but it's just it is what it is but okay so we're gonna put my back together so and and so he's really easy to put back together so as long as he goes back together and you just um, zip tie him all of his parts will stay together so you don't have to like zip tie every part together you can just zip tie his body together and all of his parts will stay together so yeah, isn't that nice yeah, the Soli is really great. So Soli is a popcorn bucket. So So this is Soli. And I I souped him up pretty good. And then the back of him, he had like a little opening. He had like a little opening. Hi. Hi, Fallon. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining. And, um, you know, I had to make him safe on the inside. I had to do a lot of, like, editing on the inside. And then I added a pulley on the inside. Thanks. And then just decked it out. I mean, that's what I do. But, yeah, that was Sully. He's a cutie. But, I mean, there's a lot more work to it. I mean, they don't just make these hollow. You know, you have to you have to grind them out, you know. So, it, it is worth, worth your time, for sure. But, you know, have y'all, you know, I've done, like, you know, the Nightmare Before Christmas, like, Oogie Boogie one. That was a popcorn bucket. You know, but that one took me, like, four days from, like, 6 a.m. to, like, 11 p.m. Like, no breaks, no lunch. Like, did not have time for it. Like, it was rough. It, that one was That one gave me a run for my money. <laughs> uh, so, it was definitely a lot of work. Um, but, uh, for sure, that one was just a lot of work. But 
I'm definitely willing to do it again. Yeah, I killed it. It was, it was really great. It was, it was a lot of fun doing it and it was just a lot of work, but it was definitely worth it. Okay, so I'm having issues with this leg staying, so I'm going to go ahead and zip tie all of these in here. I've never had one have an issue with the leg, but if this wants to be my first one, I don't mind. So, and, and I can see it, it actually, it is actually missing part of, see look, see it has this compared to that, it's missing part of this. So I'm going to go ahead and zip tie the legs. And that is fine by me, my friend. <sighs> Let me just see how to zip tie because I've never had to. So. Okay. Oh, that's going to be easy. Easy, easy peasy. <laughs> like the hole is like already there. Like this is so easy. Okay, so I just need to drill a hole. Okay, so I just need to cut that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut these off all the way to this little area right here. And then I'm gonna drill a hole. Sorry, it's really hard to angle this. Come on, there we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna drill a hole in this little box right here. And this little box right here. And then I'm going to do a zip tie right here and zip tie right there. And I'm going to run the zip tie through these legs and attach it. Does that make sense? Does, does anyone have any questions on that? So basically, I'm going to, I'll do one and then I'll show you guys how that works. So I took that one off. And then I'm going to drill a hole. Okay, then I drilled a hole. And then I'm going to fit the leg. Make sure I fit the right leg on the right one. Okay, I think that's the wrong leg, so this one's the right leg. Okay, that one's for that leg. And this one's for this leg. Okay. There we go. Okay, so legs matched up. I'm going to run the zip tie through here. And I'm going to run it through that little hole. See? Everyone see? Okay, so I'm going to run that zip tie through that hole. And I'm going to connect the zip tie. I'm going to make it tight. And I mean, toy making is a bunch of guesswork. You know, you, you just got to figure out what's right until you figure it out, which is fine by me. But the good news is that I attached it. That's all that matters. And ta-da! We attached the first one. So that's all that matters. And then so I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other one. Okay, and then drill that hole. Okay, now we're going to line up the leg. Okay. 
Okay, the leg is lined up. Now we are going to slip our zip tie through. And so remember that trick I taught y'all last week where you can bend the end of the zip tie to make it easy, easily fit through a hole that is not straight. So, okay, so we can go over here and we can easily push it through. I can just get it past the first point without going in, in that part. Here we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, we got it. There we go. Sweet. Okay, now let's attach that leg. Ooh, that's the click we want to hear. Let's make it nice and tight. Weird how these legs like maneuver. It's like they want to wiggle. It's like we're gonna we're gonna go in right, but then we're gonna wiggle and try to figure out how to go in a different way. So let's figure this out. Got it. Kick. Sweet. And that's all I want to do is reposition them to where they stay long enough to where I can get the frame back on. Okay, I think I figured this out. Man, Jess, this is really giving me a run for my money for real, these legs. Toys often do, but it'll work. It'll work. It'll work. It'll work. Oh, oh my gosh! There it goes. Yay! 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 You will fit. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now I have a zip. Okay. <sighs> Y'all for real. <laughs> this mic leg is like hating me so much. And it's in there, like I don't understand. There's something I'm doing wrong. It's just not. Uh, 
okay. I see what it is. Okay, so new game plan. Okay, so since, here's what the thing is. So since those zip ties are in here, and you can see them right there, since those zip ties are there, and I've never had to zip tie the legs back on, this little tiny section right here and right here, is not letting me fit the bottom back on because those zip ties are there. So that means I need to edit these pieces to let me fit on the bottom. And or I could easily push that out of the way, like the, the bottom of the zip tie out of the way of the leg. And maybe that would give me more chance. Because, you know, zip ties can move, you know, if you push them. Now, I don't want to break the zip tie, but, I mean, if I have to do a new zip tie, I have to do a new zip tie. Because the other one might not be in the way like this one is. Well, I just broke the zip tie, so I'll just do the new zip tie again. That is not the problem. And I also wonder, since I deleted all that stuff, would I even need a zip tie to fold in the legs if I already deleted all of that other, if I already like chopped out all that other stuff, could I just push them in and have them stay like, like they normally do? Maybe. I don't know. These are the things I ponder why I toy make and they make your toys great because I have to try them out to find out. But honestly, I feel so much better if those legs were secured. But I know that they wouldn't fall if they weren't. Oh, see, because, like, they totally just fit if if you just leave them. Because they have sockets that they're held in. See? Because they're held in by sockets with his lower body. So, yeah, the whole thing with the zip tying them in was just a stupid thing that took time. <sighs> Don't y'all just love toy making? I do. So, we can make that fit forever. Just gotta fit it into those sockets and close it before. y'all buy this mic make sure do not you don't have to zip tie the feet and don't quote me because I bet you in a second I'm gonna have to zip tie the feet <laughs> I don't know we'll see we shall see Okay, so wh what I'm doing right now is I'm editing the inside so that there's more room for the feet to fit. Because since that one side in him was broken and the feet did fall out, we're going to just have to make more room for his feet to fit in better. So, and if not, I'm just going to pull out another mic and start the heck over. Because that is fine with me. And I'll make Mike work for 
or someone else when I have time. So, and I do this a lot with toys. Sometimes you literally have to like edit the toy in every single way until it just works for you. And, and that's just totally fine. Your cutters can cut through plastic, very, very thick plastic. And, um, you know, sometimes you just have to make it literally into what you want it to be. And, um, you know, that's, it works out that way. Okay, so and the good part about this base is that no glider reaches the inside of this part because it has that mold, has that mold inside. But I'm still going to sand it out just in case because I do. I mean, if someone takes apart their toy and just sees you just completely abominate, <laughs> you know, just completely just ruin the inside and not sand it down. I just, I just feel bad about that, you know, just I always make it look nice and, you know, spend time on it. It's always nice to make things pretty for people, especially if they pay good money for it. This is what I use to sand. I use another Dremel light but with the sanding core. And it is a Dremel extension. So what I did was I cut out the um, the main core that was blocking the feet from going all the way in, and then I cut the sides that was blocking the the feet from securing in, and so now it just easily just fits. Good. Okay. And so now what I can do is I can just literally fit it and just zip tie on the end so that will work great so i'm going to drill holes into the side of it and this will work perfectly just out of the way yeah 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 and if this doesn't work, then I'm getting another mic, and I'm totally fine with that. But at least I tried, and life goes on. <laughs> I'm such a mess up. <laughs> but I'm really hoping this works, because I really think it will, because I'm pretty good at fixing messed up things. So... Y'all should have seen this one toy that I had messed up so bad, and I was able to fix it, thank goodness. And it turned out to be a really cute toy, so. Oh my gosh, it worked! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, these feet are going in like a charm. Oh my gosh, wow, that really would work. Okay, good. Looky here, and I'll show y'all in just a second how well that fit in. And uh, y'all can then praise me. No, I'm just <laughs> Uh, no, I'm just really excited it worked because I was just like, oh, okay, here we go. Embarrassing, embarrassing moment. But, you know, it, it happens and we all make mistakes when toy making and it's not the first time I've thrown away a base and it won't be my last. And we've all been there and, you know, who cares if it's on live, right? You know, who cares? I do. But, 
You know, we all make mistakes. Luckily, I didn't make one today. Hey, so that's exciting. So who all is still here? You guys want to do a sound off on the chat? And um, I also want to know, uh, you know, for the new people that I don't know, uh, how many gliders y'all have? Any interesting names? I asked that last week, so anyone who, uh, you know, doesn't, who hasn't answered or doesn't want to share is fine. Okay. Silly legs back on. Five, soon to be eight. Very cool. Oh, yeah. I know that. <laughs> Do you love your gliders, Adeline? So they just recently got gliders from me. So, and, and they're just like the best gliders ever. Like, I just love them so much. They're great gliders. So, y'all, I really can't with this mic. So, I got the legs on and they're functional and they work. They won't go in the freaking thing. Okay, hold up. No, this is this is going to this is going to work. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I am the hugest Pokemon fan. Like, you have no idea. And Eevee evolutions are my favorite, and I'm obsessed. Like, this this is next to me every day, and then I have, like, Eevee stuff all over my desk. Like, don't even, like, I'm just, like, obsessed. Okay, you know what? I'm so mad with these, with these legs. Look at this. <laughs> you know, I think it's just time to probably scratch this mic. And just, uh, you know, let him have better days somewhere else, probably in the trash. And I can try one more thing. And then, then I'm going to make that other mic so fast, y'all won't even know it hit you. Okay, now here's this. Yeah, I'm getting a new mic, y'all. Mess that one up for reals. But I have more mics, so you guys got lucky tonight. And I don't even think I messed that one up. I think it just came broken. So, and I just made it worse. So that's just me. Wait. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I cut off the legs so I can't dangle them anymore. But weren't those hilarious? Y'all should make like a little meme out of that. That was hilarious. I know, those were the best. I'm gonna save all these parts because like you never know when you need an extra part, you know, for my. Y'all should make like a little meme and pass it around. That'd be hilarious. I would laugh. But we still have this, so we don't have to do that over again. You know, really all we did with Mike with like was like take out his uh, screws and, you know, drill holes in his feet. So here we go. You know, biggie, biggie. Not really that big of a deal. But I'll do it right now. Oh, so much work. <sighs> Yeah, all of my toys in my cages are actually Pokemon themed and they're almost like all Eevee. So on my on my favorite ladder page, I actually posted two toys that I made today that were Pokemon themed that I'm gonna put in their cage tonight. I'm so excited. Like the goal is to get done with the live so I can watch my gliders play with their new toys. So I haven't put them in the cage yet. They're actually back there. So I'm anxiously trying to finish this toy. I know, I really jacked it up, didn't I, Tammy? Yeah, it was, it was really, really messed up. I know, every once in a while you mess one up, and, and Tammy thinks I'm like this toy saint, and I'm like, nah, nah. I mean, I'm, I'm good at what I do. I can decorate toys well. I make everything safe. But at the end of the day, I'm human, and I make toys well, but I also mess up things well. I'm human, and that's okay. I'm okay being human. Being human's great. It's a happy, happy, you know, thing to be. So, there's my rant on that. Uh, we already we already scrapped that mic, so you might need to rewind. I think I I think I made it to rewind. Uh, you know, but I'm sure someone's going to make a meme out of me dangling that mic because it, it was it's pretty fab. So it's pretty great. Okay, so the screws are out of this little guy, this little dude. He's alive. He's shaking. Look at that. Ah! Okay, so we're going to we're going to drill holes in him so he does not fall apart. And go to the same fate as first Mike. R.I.P. First Mike. Can someone say a few words for first Mike so we can mourn him properly? Legless Mike. His name is Legless Mike. I first want to say sorry, Legless Mike. I failed him. Yeah, we tried. Tried to preserve his legs. It was unfortunate. Okay, so I just drilled the hole so it's more smooth. And then now I'm going to run a zip tie through these two holes so that it's more together. Um, and so that he does not fall apart and succumb to the fate of Legless Mike very important. And I'm also going to drill this hole so that it becomes larger. And I think just doing like one hole at a time instead of taking it all apart, you know, might be better for Mike. I will take that rubber piece out but that's really easy to access. Mike won't be dancing with the hat on like in the in the movie, you know, like da 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 
that. And he, he gonna fall real quick. Yeah, so. You know what's crazy is each time I make like a Monsters Inc. toy, I'm like, man, I've only seen the first movie. <laughs> I need to see more movies because I really try to like play along with the theme like perfectly. And I haven't seen like the Monsters Inc. like college or anything like that. There you go, that's the scene where he like tripped over his feet. That's great. Well, does anyone have any funny glider stories this week? I found a good one, so. My uh, my mommy and daddy glider, they're really protective of their babies, and they're just now three weeks old. So I give them until about three weeks, and then it's like, okay, y'all have to share. It's, it's fair of me. But the daddy, um, Hank, so Hank and Darla are the parents, and Hank uh, finally let me touch the boy for like a couple of minutes, and then he grabbed him back, and, you know, he he grabbed the baby, but the way he grabbed the baby, he he like grabbed his head and he was just like, No, you will not. And he was like, You will come with me. And <laughs> the baby was like, Fine, Dad. He turned around and he said, He said, Dad, fine, I'll come with you. And then and then Hank was just like, I will get you now. And he took him wrapped him in a bear hug and then just like flung him back and like took him like you think like spider-man would take you off of a roof like you know just took him backwards and just like flung him into the into the pouch on top of him and it was the cutest but funniest thing and i'm like hank he's three weeks old like you can't do this no more like you can't be the protective daddy he's three weeks old like come on like at some point <gasps> a leg just fell from like i'm just joking I'm sure it'll be fine. It, it will not be the same issue, I promise you. No, it won't because that, that part is there. So, I'm just going to make it slip back real easily. So, you replace the screws with uh, zip ties. Oh, look. Easy, 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 easy fix. So, because it's not missing that part. So, that was just a broken mark that gave me all those issues. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Ha 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 ha. So, just want to reiterate that it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, but Okay, so we have one side secured, and I know you guys are just watching me like fiddle with my hands, but I really am doing stuff, and I am showing you what I did. So, okay, so he was all apart, and I drilled two holes right here so I could put him back together so he wouldn't keep being able to fall apart. Now, this side is still not secure, so you can see he can fall apart still. So I want to drill another hole right here, and another hole right here so I can seal this side into them as well. And I wanna take out that little rubber piece around the brim. So I'm gonna take out the little rubber piece because now he can't fully fall apart. He can only halfway fall apart. So that's probably better than fully fall apart, right? So let's go ahead and open him just a little bit. And look, there's that rubber seal right there so I can just go ahead and pull it. Ah -ha! Perfect, throw that away. And then now I can go ahead and drill those holes to go ahead and, uh, you know, seal the deal. You know what's funny though is I guarantee you I'm going to be working with that mic tomorrow and I guarantee you I'm going to find a way to make it work for me. 
like I'm going to fiddle with it for like three something hours and I'm going to find a way for it to work for me and it's going to work fine as another toy and it'll, it'll be fine. So I just don't have the time to work with it tonight because I'm making a live video and I don't want to look like an idiot in front of everyone just being like, what will work and what won't, you know, but this is what I do. You know, I make toys out of refurbished toys and not everything works at first. And I sit there and I fiddle with it for hours and hours and hours until it works, you know, and it, that's this is the, the joy of toy making. And it's my favorite thing in the world to do. And I, I find great joy in turning something broken into something beautiful. And, um, you know, honestly, it just really excites me to see something broken that I can turn into something of profit. So, you know, or, or just something for gliders in general that will give them joy and enrichment, and just happiness and just, you know, so... I'm going to fix it. It just, I just can't do it on live under, you know, everyone's eyes. I don't want to waste your time. I want to make this toy for y'all and teach you how to make it and teach y'all things. So I'm sanding the inside of those holes, make them all nice and smooth. Hey, Jeff, look how he's turning out so far. We're making him safe. We're, we just took out the screws and we are um cleaning the holes up and uh we took out all of the rubber and then now we are zip tying him back together so you didn't miss much except for like the other mic that i completely broke and could not figure out because they said well he was defective so that was part of it but it was pretty funny like his legs were like completely broken it was hilarious So you'll have to rewatch some of that because it was pretty great. He gave me a run for my money and then I just got another one. So I was like, who cares? So for the new people, um, what do y'all, what do y'all do for a profession? Anything interesting? I obviously toy make and that's what I do full time. I also have a small breeding program for sugar gliders, obviously. When I mean small, it's like three pairs. <laughs> okay, so now that we have Mike all drilled up, we are going to go ahead and put that last zip tie in so he's fully put together. And then we're going to drill holes in the bottom of him so that he has good drainage, because gliders like to pee, don't they? Yeah, you always want to be considerate of like anything your glider like will sit or sleep in or like play in, um, that they always have a drainage or something for the pee. Um, cause otherwise it's just going to sit in there. It's going to cake in there. And when you wash it, if you don't have something that will drain it, um, as you wash it, it will stay in there and crust in a corner. So, um, always have like a drainage outlet for anything that your glider sits or sleeps or plays in. Like, um... For example, um, I helped Tammy make a basket this week, um, and she didn't have much space at the bottom, but 
I did make sure that she had holes in the bottom of her basket because she did need that drainage in there for at least washing it. Even though her gliders weren't going to be touching the bottom of the thing because there was a big pill container near it, um, you know, she still needed that drainage for at least just washing it. So, okay. So we've got a zip tie on each side. And it looks like the bottom's a little a little loose still. So I'm just gonna add one right here. So I'm gonna add two holes right at this very bottom. Not a very comfortable spot. We just wanna make sure he's fully sealed. want to clean up those holes and you know when there's a hard to reach uh, hole to clean up you know like obviously on the inside of this toy it's going to be very hard to reach a hole to clean up on the inside of him and most people might just say okay well I'll let my glider clean that one up you, no 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 thank you Elizabeth I really appreciate that and that's cool, Sam. Three pairs, that's right where it's at. You can have one in your lap. You can have one in your arms and one on your shoulder or like in your lap or your chest. Like it's just the perfect number of pairs. But that's why I have the Dremel is because I can go ahead and drill in those little awkward positions and make it smooth and not have to worry about standing in awkward positions or just leaving it alone and leaving my gliders to get hurt. And look, perfectly sanded hole that quickly. And I didn't even have to reach in and do it myself. So that is perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and seal that hole with a zip tie. Now, cutting the zip tie is harder. So that's why I am going to leave the big part of the zip tie on the outside so that I can cut the zip tie on the outside instead of the inside. Because that would, I mean, that's like impossible. I mean, you could. You could cut the zip tie on the inside, but who are you impressing at this point? Your gliders? No. So. Yeah, Elizabeth got a really cool cage set to match her uh, mailbox order that I did for her. And it is just amazing. And I'm about to do a zoo set for her. And it is just, I'm so excited about that zoo set. I have so many, like, zoo animals that I can, like, put with her stuff. So I'm just, like, freaking out about it. Oh. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we've got that zip tie in. We're going to seal it tight. And that means Mike is fully secured and there is no gaps in any part of him. We're going to drill Mike's feet again since we replaced Mike. With, since we replaced Legless Mike. <coughs> mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and drill uh, the holes in the back of him as well for the drainage. That was hot. I had to drop it. It was hot. <laughs> it's like it burns. Mm. It's hard because like I want to see y'all, you know, see me drill it, but it's like a lot of pressure I'm adding to it because it's very thick plastic. Two more holes and 
That should be good for Mr. Mike. Well, one more to the pan. Okay. There we go. And then one in his hands for the, for the, all of the chain. Ooh, his hand is so thick. Okay. I'm going to have to do that again. Silver. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're all done with drilling mic. Yes, it is your mic. Yay! I know I'm not being too nice to him, you know, really drilling into him rough, but he's really thick plastic. <laughs> so, the first mic was yours too, but he came defective, and so I had to replace him. But luckily I had another one on stock, so that was really lucky. Okay, so now I'm cleaning up the holes where I drilled. So cleaning around the holes with my cutter. And if I need to use my sander, I will. Just wanna make it look real neat and pretty. So after this live video is over, um, like after I'm done making this toy, if anyone wants to ask uh, where they are or if anyone wants to message me where they are on my order list, I am more than happy to answer them. Um, I am flying through my order list. Like I'm not even joking. I finished five orders over the weekend and those were like three, four toy orders. So um, I'm flying through my orders and I'm, I'm spending so much quality time and effort on them um, that they're all turning out just fabulous. I mean, y'all have seen my page, how they're turning out. So um, I have no fear that your orders are going to get out quick. Um, I haven't had anyone, you know, be like, hey, where's my order? Um, so I'm not really like worried about that either. But right now, my order time turnaround is like around two to three weeks. So it's really not bad at all. Um, but in certain circumstances, like people who need toys quicker, like I, I will be able to move you up um, if you need it quicker. Um, just depending on the circumstance, like if it's new gliders and you're getting them quicker or you know, um, it's a kitchen and your gliders are slinging food and it's ruining the walls, you know, like, just let me know. Um, I can work overtime. I can work nights. I can, you know, I can work weekends. I already work weekends. So, uh, I just love toy making and I can make time for your stuff. If it, even if it's into my time, uh, it's just what I love doing. So, uh, if you have an emergent thing or if you have a buddy gift, uh, let me know and I'll sneak it in and uh, we'll get you squared away. So now I'm, now I'm cleaning up the holes on the inside of my...
<laughs> Let's see. Sierra, let me see what I have on your on your thing. I have like this huge mountain list that I go through every single day and I'm like, who's who's up today? And I sort of just match it and see, you know, who, sh who should be today. Who can I get done the quickest, you know, sort of thing. But Sierra, let me see. Oh, yeah, you only have one toy. So you're already, like, quicker on the list. Because usually what I do is I try to get at least four toys done t every day. And so I always, here's how I sort of do it. So I... I always try to do one multi-toy order a day and then at least two one-toy orders a day. So one-toy orders always get done quicker with the multi-toy order. Yeah, Lion King, the the wood waterfall. Yes, I totally remember. So um, yours is actually highlighted in bold, which means I get it automatically done quicker because it's a one-toy order. Now, I do want to say that yours is... Yours is third from the bottom, bold highlighted. And, but, yours is also, one, two, three, four, yours is sixth down the list, bold highlighted. So, yours will probably get hit in, probably next week, is what I'm guessing. So, it won't be that long, but it'll still be a little bit longer to wait. But honestly, like, I was looking at my thing yesterday, and I was like, I could put two wood waterfalls in one day and get those out of the way. And because I like doing toys that are matching orders because I can do them sort of in an assembly line and just knock them out. So your order may come out sooner than later because I like to do them in an assembly line if I already have two orders that are the same. And I already, and my next, um, my next bold single order is a wood waterfall so i mean your order could be this week i don't know i don't know so it just depends on you know what i decide to do there so but most likely if i'm making a wood waterfall i'm going to be making two why not make two if you're making one Um, the longest toy I've made, me, I've made has taken four days, um, from like 6 a.m. to 11 p.m., no breaks, no lunch, but then again, I wasn't really eating much during that time period. Um, that was, that toy was Hope's, uh, Hope's Buddy Gift. That was an awesome toy. And and then the second biggest toy I've ever made was that uh, Nightmare Before Christmas Oogie Boogie toy. Um, I think I got all of those smoothed out. Um, that also took four days, but I think it was just because it was new. Um, most of my toys, like the ones that are on my Etsy, I can bust almost all of those, I can bust on almost all of those four, you know, I can bust four of those out a day. Like, almost all of them. There's some, like the paint platter and the pulley playground that will take me a full day to make. There's some, like, bigger toys that will take a full day to make for me. Um, but that's obviously reflected in the price. <laughs> Um, you know, like the $75 toys, like those take me a full day to make. And I mean like all day. And I clip chain. I clip chain like no other. Like I clip the front. I clip the back. I clip the inside. I clip all my charms. I clip every single part of a charm. I, I clip all the, all the jaggedy pieces. I clip everything. There is not one sharp thing on your toy. I promise. I promise. Like it's not going to be there, <laughs> you know. So I, I take that time and it takes me time and that's going to be reflected in your toy and sometimes in your price, right? Mm -hmm. So I just, uh, it's so important to me to not be that vendor that hurts your fighter. You know, it's just so important to me.
I never want to wake up to that post, you know, like I'm, I'm not going to be that vendor for y'all. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, okay. So we have the holes in Mike. All the holes are in Mike. He is all ready to go y'all. And I have already clipped the chain for this order. So all we have to do is attach the chain and then attach Mike. And then we have to attach those pieces and decorate the chain, and we're all done. But but honestly, like, I've made all of my toys on my Etsy so many times, like, I can make them really quick, you know? So um, it's the floor toys that take a little longer, especially some of the ones that I haven't done so many times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is an order I'm doing right now. This is for Miss Jess. And she ordered the Soli too. So that's pretty cool. They came together. Okay, so we fit the, the zip tie on the mic and we're going to zip tie him in. And I've been on the AVL since... Ooh. See, that's not very smart because I don't know how long I've been on the AVL. I think I've been on the AVL since August is my best guess. Um, August of last year, um, which doesn't really seem that long, but I've been toy making for three years now, um, which doesn't seem that long either, but I, I'm really dedicated to it, and I've been doing it day in and out for that long. So um, I've really done my research, and I've really dedicated myself to it. Uh, and I've owned gliders for a little over six years. So just a complete blessing in my life to be able to provide enrichment for these little, little guys. Something I love doing. I find, I find, uh, you know, providing things for them to chew you know, provides them more structure and, you know, prevents them from, you know, um, doing more destructive behaviors in their cage and outside of their cage. They're less likely to chew their pouches. They're less likely to nibble on you. They're less likely to destroy things around them and less likely to be mean to each other. If they have things to chew and things to do and things to keep them busy. Oh no. I put the put the zip tie on crooked. Nope. Nope, I didn't. Okay, good. It looked like I did, but I didn't. Haha. -ha. But you know, it's always good to keep your gliders occupied. Nope, oh, that is a little crooked, so I'll redo that zip tie. But I'm just so glad that I have, you know, even just a little bit of a platform to help you guys in any way, learn how to toy make, you know, give you guys any tips or advice I have. Um, do you guys have any question, uh, any questions about uh, toy making or any questions about what I'm doing um, that I can answer for you? Let's see. Yeah, AVL members for sure are busy, you know, but it's totally worth it. I mean, I think what we do is really important, you know. I mean, a lot of people, when they start off with gliders, have toys from Amazon and, you know, exotic nutrition. And, you know, your gliders can, can get killed on that stuff. Killed. You know? You know, a lot of people just include what comes with their cages on Amazon. That's crazy, like those ropes and stuff, like so dangerous. And much for the same price, you can get a toy from me for 15 bucks that has all the enrichment they need, you know, just a pulley or just to chew something to chew on. You know, it's just, just crazy to me that 
you know, it's not more widely available. Yeah. Oh, my little baby. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, sweet girl. You're cute. Yes, you are. I know. Oh, my goodness. So I have, like, this little ottoman next to me where my dogs like to sit while I toy make. And they beg for treats throughout, like, the whole day. <laughs> and it's so sweet. I just love them. But they're little... Don't use my teeth. Oh, come on. You got to use them sometimes. <laughs> I know I'm so bad. So, so bad about that. Okay, so <coughs> where's my chain? There it is. Hey, Daisy. I love you, too. Yeah, I love you, too. You should look good. Hey, Jared. Can you get Daisy? Well, he's got his headphones on, so he's not going to hear me. Hi. Is there anything I can do for you? Looks at the treats. She just looks at the treats. Hi. I love you, too. Yeah, I do. I do. I love you. Okay. Okay. I'm not giving any more treats right now. I'm not. Spoiled. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put on the chain for Monster Seek. So we like to zip tie chain onto things. I think everyone likes to do that. And so I'm going to organize the colors like so. And it's the same way I organize the colors on the other toy. And I am going to put it in. And by the way, yes, he is zip tied to the thing. So look at him. He's like, stop. So, okay, so we're going to put him, put these in his hand. Come on. There we go. Okay. As long as y'all don't tell my dentist, just don't tell my dentist I do that, please. Because he'll get mad. Like, really mad. Charge me more. I don't like that. I know, I'm so bad. Okay. What do y'all think? That's a lot of chain right there, huh? You're hilarious, Sierra. You're 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 hilarious. Ha 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 ha. I'm just sure. Nah. Y'all be nah. Okay, so another random question for chat. What is one state you haven't been to? And what, okay, so I, ch next question. What's one state you want to go to and why? And I'll go ahead and attach <coughs> Sully and Boo. Oh, no, Sully and Boo. Yeah, there you go. So I'm going to drill a hole into the side of Boo on each side. I know I'm harsh. Ah, when the hot plastic like lands on your like chest or like into your shirt and it like burns you and you're like, ah. Ugh. Yes, Alaska. That that would be cool. In fact, that that would be like one of my top places. I'm a huge nature freak. Maine, that's a good choice. I would go to Maine just for the lobster, like straight up. That would be amazing. Yeah. 
me personally, I think I'd go to Hawaii, y'all. I think I think I'd peace out, and I think I'd just tell everyone I got lost and disappear. Peace out, y'all. <laughs> Find me a beachy boy. I'm just joking. <laughs> My husband's like. <laughs> I wouldn't like Florida because, like, you know, I don't think they really know how to handle hurricanes. Or maybe they do. I don't know. They have a lot of hurricanes. Seems like Hawaii's got it down. I mean, they have they have volcanoes, and, like, people go and, like, just, just go to, like, look at them. Like, sup? Tourists. I'm not even afraid of them. That's how well they have figured out Hawaii. Yeah, Disneyland's pretty cool. Why not? What's wrong with the water? Ooh, what, Elizabeth? Fair enough. Those are pretty bad in itself. You know, you can't judge someone judge someone for hating that. Okay, so I'm going to put Sully on the left and Boo on the right. And I'm going to mark with my little eyeliner pen where I'm going to put them so I know where to drill. You guys remember me doing that earlier? So I'm just going to do that real quick and then I'm going to go ahead and drill. Nightmare from... Oh, dude. My husband would flip out if I got an order to do Nightmare from Elm Street because we are the hugest horror fans. Like, I'm telling you, like, that would be crazy cool. It would be amazing. Like, I would do, mm, I, would, I would do you justice on that one. It'd be killer. I'd order so much stuff for it. It'd be so cool. It'd be so cool. You should let me do it. <laughs> like, just because you care about me. Sorry, I'm marking these holes real quick, and then I'll look and see what you said. Yay, that would be so exciting. Oh my gosh, that would just be, I mean, it would just be so crazy. Be so crazy and nostalgic. Oh my gosh, It'd be so cool. Okay, and see what these monsters ain't things you have to tilt them like just right to where it sort of plays off each other. There we go. There we go. Okay. So if you guys can see like these really tiny holes I marked. Oh, and by the way, Tanya, welcome to my welcome to my chat. It's so nice to see you. Thanks for joining. The more the merrier. Yes, seriously, the best movies ever. Oh my goodness. I, I will do them justice for real. Okay, so we're drilling these holes now. And we want to clean up the holes afterwards, as usual. And we're going to even drill a second hole right next to the ones we drilled because we want to make sure we have a second hole to where we can drill the zip tie underneath and mark, you know, complete the zip tie underneath. So. So 
So in the end, it should look like this, like four little holes next to each other so we can get it in there. Yes, so I do. So I have a ton of toys for my gliders and I give them new toys almost, I'd say every two weeks. I like to keep it, I like to interchange them, but it's all toys that I've made. And then I have a few toys from different vendors that I trust and that I like to use. Um, and I won't specifically say like which vendors I use and I trust because I'll tell you in, you know, private message, but I'm not going to sit there and say, hey, I use, you know, these vendors um, unless you ask me in private message because I, I just don't want to be rude. I think all vendors have their own style. And as long as they're on the ABL, you know, they're they're reputable. But they have to be on the ABL. <laughs> So really great news. I recently applied to um, Sugar Glider Guardians um, ABL. That's the only ABL I'm not on um, that I can think of. Uh, and so I'm hoping to hear back from Jessica Huffman once she receives my toy. I don't foresee any issues getting into that ABL. But it's the only ABL. And my only reasoning with not applying for that ABL immediately it's because I wanted to see how well I could handle high volume orders um, by myself um, before, you know, taking all of the sort of, you know, beginner glider folks as well. Um, I wanted to get to know the community a little more and, you know, get to know, you know, myself in the toy business before I took on all of the, you know, new beginner, you know, sugar glider orders. Um, cause each group you add, you know, you, you get, you get a lot of orders. So I, I just wanted to make sure I could handle it, but I mean, I'm, I'm doing great. And I just really am excited with each new order. I'm just like, man, I get to make this now. Oh my gosh. You know, and it's just so much fun. So I definitely love the toys I get to make and I love all of y'all too and just getting to know y'all and oh sorry yes the ABL is an approved vendors list so anyone on the ABL has passed testing in order to uh, be on that list so I have passed really 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 thorough testing safety testing I have sent toys in to be tested um physical testing someone has put my toys in their gliders cages to see how they hold up to see the durability to see how they're built to see how um uh, you know safe they are um you know and, and they pass all the tests and basically once they're passed i my name gets put on a list of, of vendors that have also passed that list so um and basically we're known as basically who to go to when it comes to toy buying and making and things like that. And there's also an ABL for like safe sewing and stuff. So you don't buy stuff that's not safe for your gliders. Ooh, that's cool, Jess. I've been thinking about buying some. Right now I have Hocus Pocus and Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, pouches and I need to like start those toy sets soon. Make my own Oogie Boogie Man. God, I can't even imagine what Oogie Boogie Man for my gliders would be like. I don't even think I'd make it different because it's just so fabulous just like by itself. I may put like a Jack or like a Sally, probably Jack and Sally. Uh, Funko Pop inside of it or something like that would be like my extra extra. Yeah, I have so many um, Hocus Pocus uh, pouches from from Rose uh, Rose Meredith because she keeps posting them on the on the auction group or whatever, and I'm just like, oh, I have to have that. Oh, I have to have that. Oh, I have to have that. It's just so much trouble all the time. Okay, so we have Sully attached. Yay! It's coming together already. Look at that. 
So we're going to attach Boo real quick. Does everyone know how to attach uh, using a zip tie from like underneath the Frisbee, through the Frisbee, and then, you know, through the Frisbee again underneath? Does that even make sense? So basically just going through here, underneath. Okay, Sierra, I can send you some ABL uh, list groups. Um, I would love to send you those things. In fact, uh, I'll send you um, one right after the live videos. I'll send you uh, the SGF ABL list. I know that Sugar Glider Minions has a really amazing ABL list. In fact, it has all of my favorite. I can't even say that because I'm not supposed to say who are my favorite vendors. But they're all on that ABL. So, but, and then there's also some good ones in some exchange groups. Um, each group has their own ABL. So, but there's certain ABLs that have, you know, really, really great vendors. But most vendors uh, get approved on all ABLs if they're really great. So, or most of them. So, but yeah, it's not too hard to get on other ABLs once you get approved in like one big ABL. So like since I'm approved in like Sugar Glider Fanatics, I was able to get approved in Sugar Glider Groupies and, you know, other ABLs. Okay, so looky here. Yay! There we go. Looky here. So now all we got to do is decorate the chain and I think I'm gonna put like a trash can right here too so just because I care <laughs> and it'll be a matching trash can to Sully's trash can so the smaller toys that I'm attaching <coughs> what these are made of is plastic so you can put any plastic on a toy so any sort of model toy or like action figure that doesn't have moving parts and that are made of plastic you can put on toys mm -hmm. so i got these from dollar tree and they were like a dollar you know and you can also order them in bulk from their website too so but they work really well with the toy and gliders love chewing them Okay, so we're going to make this trash can safe real quick, so I'm going to drill some holes in it. I'm going to drill one hole in the back of it because we want to... Oh, it's loud. But um, we want to... We want to zip tie the lid on so that they never lose it. And then we want to drill a hole in the bottom in the bottom so that if anything ever melts like a yogi inside of it, it can seep out and drain out. Same with if you're washing it, it'll, it, instead of molding inside, it will wash all out. And then we also want to drill two holes in the bottom so that we can zip tie it to the Frisbee. So I think that would be three holes total because the draining holes can be the same as the zip tie holes. Doesn't that make just the prettiest sound? It's like jingle bells to my ear. And so sometimes to get that excess plastic, you can sort of shake your hand and get it all, and it just chips off right there. So easy. And look, that's already smooth. Wow. See the inside? You'll have to smooth a little bit, though. And 
And sometimes, even though you smooth the outside first, once you smooth the inside, you have to smooth the outside again. <laughs> so you just got to keep checking, you know, is it still smooth? Do you have to do it again? Okay, so we are going to get a zip tie. Oh, I still need to um, secure the top of wood. Or um, drill a hole in the top. With the zip tie. Okay. Sweet. Jess, this toy's gonna look so good. You won't believe all the stuff I'm gonna put on it, and I don't think you have seen what I'm gonna put on it yet. I'll show you in just a second. What are the smaller oh, I already mentioned that. So yeah, those are plastic. And some of the even smaller toys I'm attaching to like the chain are made of wood and uh, more plastic and some even of rubber. Rubber chews is what I call them. Okay, now we're gonna mark where we need to with this eyeliner pen so that we drill in the right place. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna drill right there where it is marked. Okay. Do y'all have any questions about toy supplies or where you get certain toy supplies or, um, you know, uh, any, any questions about toy supplies at all? Okay, that's smooth. Catching the trash can now. So hard to do is standing up. Where do I get my toys? Like the toy I'm working on now. I know two things for sure came from Dollar Tree. Okay, so we did talk about this a little earlier in the broadcast, but I'll just repeat um, for the new people. Um, so this mic piece um, came from eBay or Mercari, so two places sell it. Um, so this is a special piece that um, is a Disney relic, and that's why it's so <coughs> expensive. And that's why I charge so much. So I charge $65 for this toy. And it's because this toy came out in 2009. And it was a Disney relic at the Disney parks in California. And um, this, this was a drinking cup that came out in the Disney parks when the movie was released. And so if you were not at the Disney parks when the movie was released, you could not have bought this cup. And so there are people on eBay and Mercari who sell this along with that Sully, who is a popcorn bucket. And um, they, they will sell these from time to time, either for a really high price or for a more affordable price. Usually I can find these from $35 to $40. Sometimes they're $60. Sometimes they're $120 or $160. Sometimes they're sold together. Sometimes they're sold separately. Um, I only buy them when they're thirty to thirty-five dollars, um, so they're hard to find at that price. Uh, so I really just watch for them. Um, but you know, I find my bases just by luck. You know, I search for different toy supplies. 
I've, I have a few websites I go to. I definitely look over eBay. I look over Mercari. I look over <coughs> clearance websites. Um, you know, I always, you know, just try to find <coughs> the next thing. I, I, I shop at my local Goodwills. I go to consignment sales. I go to local flea markets. Any place that has a kids section, um, I go to. Uh, you know, uh, Walmart has clearance sections that have open box sections for like people who like tear apart toys in the store. So you can get a good deal on like a floor toy or something if it's already been opened by some like naughty kid. Um, you know, you can do either five below or below five or whatever that store is called. Um, you know, Dollar Tree, of course. Um, Hobby Lobby, Party City. Uh, <coughs> You know, there's just a lot of great options. Okay, so now that I have attached this trash can, look how cute that trash can is right there. What do you think, Jess? But like the, the big bases that I have are from eBay and Mercari, and I sort of just shop by like the character. You know, like I'll be like Monsters, Inc. Or like, you know, Nightmare Before Christmas, what can I find? You know, or like Pirate Ship you know, pirate ship toys and see what I can find. Perfect. I'm glad you love it. Okay, so now we're going to decorate the chain. And here's the really fun part, because I'm going to go through like how I edit items to make them safe. And this is just so important to know, because a lot of items need to be edited. So and then we're going to do a poll on which toy should be taught next. So, and I'm going to go ahead and just look at my list real quick um, and choose which ones I want you to vote over. So give me one second real quick. <coughs> Where did I get the Frisbee? I got the Frisbees at Oriental Trading Company. So they sell them 12 count for $16.99, which seems like a lot, but they come in four colors. They come in hot pink, yellow, uh blue and then a really pretty like grass green um, and they come four of each so I think it's worth it um, but if you need a specific color and you have to spend $16.99 to get four of that one color it sucks but I mean Jessica sold them for a little bit and then when she ran out she hasn't sold them since so but Oriental Trading Company has them it's just the nine inch diameter frisbees that they sell Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> and I'm looking at orders that I will get to by next Tuesday. There's a lot of orders that I'm going to get to this week, like like Whitney's Whitney's orders I'm going to get to this week. Mindy's orders I'm going to get to this week. Julie's orders I'm going to get to by this weekend. Um, it looks like... <clears throat> Emily's orders I might get to next week, but it's the same toys that I've done. It's the Soli and the mic, but they will be hanging. Um, I could do a wood waterfall. I could specifically do Sierra's wood waterfall. Okay, so that might be one for a vote. Um... I could do Brianna's mushroom cup. I could do JT's backyard playground. Or that'd be a really long one. Or I could do I wish I could do one of yours, Tammy, but yours are all too big. And I hate that because it's just all chain. Uh, wood waterfall. Um, 
Let me show you what it is on my phone because I don't have one currently near me. But they're beautiful. I mean, they're they're just gorgeous. I love my wood waterfalls. And this one, the wood waterfall, would be a Mufasa <coughs> and a Lion King one specifically. So it would be a much. It would be big. Be it'd be a big one. But let me get you a picture of my wood waterfall. Okay, these are my wood waterfalls. Can y'all see that? <clears throat> yeah, they're huge. And, and it's, it's some drilling, but it's a lot of just like chain work and just design. It's really pretty. Yeah, you guys like that? So, but let me run the poll because I, I sort of want to figure out how to do this on my Facebook. But let me see uh, which toy should be made next week. Options. Sierra's wood waterfall <coughs> and Fossa and Simba. Okay. And I'll show y'all the mushroom cup. Okay, I think I sent it. Okay, and before y'all answer the poll, let me go ahead and show y'all the mushroom cup. And I think y'all have seen my background playgrounds, right? Okay, here's the mushroom cup. And let me show you all the background. background. And there's the background playground. And that's just one of them. The other one, so I make I make a whole bunch of different ones. And so this, so JT doesn't want a Funko Pop with his. He wants a Caterpillar topper with his. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, but that's sort of like the design for the background playground. So I just posted the poll. Yeah, I knew the waterfall might win, but I thought the mushroom cup would give give everyone a run for their money. So cool beans. Let's go ahead and get to decorating this mic, and we will see at the end of the video how the poll goes. Okay, and Jessica, 
<laughs> Elizabeth, I like all. I know I do too. We can only do one a week though, unfortunately. But <laughs> Jessica, here's all the stuff that's going to go on your toy if I can fit it all. Right, and I'll tell you like how to prepare it and all that stuff. You won't see me prepare it because I'll have to do it before the show, but I'll, I'll definitely fit it all. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll definitely do that. Well, I mean, there's five chains, so like we're going to have to fit a lot. So I'll definitely do my best. So I'm going to already have to edit two chains off the bottom because a lot of this stuff will have to fit and not run on the bottom. So, okay. And I always do that <coughs> when I first start these. Okie dokie. Let's get started. Um, I'm going to start with the green chain first. So with these, I like to drill a hole right here on its back. Right here and right here. So I can slip a zip tie through it. Hey, y'all quit playing. Or at least barking while you're playing. <laughs> but yeah. And when you when you drill holes and things that are like toppers and things, you don't have to drill to the point that you're drilling a huge hole in it. You can just drill enough to slip a zip tie through it, just like a little tiny hole. You don't have to butcher it. <laughs> Tammy. <laughs> Now are the bigger, yes, so the bigger toys, oh, do you mean like, Sam, do you mean like these toys are strictly floor toys, or do you mean like, are these toys strictly at the bottom of the chain toys? So, okay, so these toys, these big toys, I can make them hang like Big Sully. Okay, Big Sully, I can make him hang and it's safe because this chain, this three millimeter chain back there can hold up to 18 pounds. Believe it or not, it can hold up to 18 pounds. And the more chain you put up, you know, the safer it is. So, um... You can also use safe metals like stainless steel and it won't rust over time even if it gets wet or peed on. Um, Jessica sells it and you can even hang heavier stuff. So anything you can actually hang as long as you have the cage space, believe it or not. It's just insane to me. But, you know, at some point it's like, do you really want to risk it? Because, I mean, what if what if your bladder did get smushed, you know, or something? But, I mean, I made a really heavy toy for Hope. I mean, it was almost 18 pounds, you know, and she wanted it to hang. And, I mean, I swear up and down that thing is safe because I made over eight hanging points for that, for that toy. And then I also had eight points to secure it so that it would not wobble and swing in her cage. It literally like had this much room to move. So it just stayed still. It, it had nowhere to move. And so I felt like I did that safe enough to where her gliders could, could easily just, you know, be safe. So it's just all about how you do it, how you plan it and how you picture it, you know, you, you definitely have to be careful with how you plan things. But Big Sully is no problem to hang at all. Nah, he's easy. But y'all, if you want a Big Sully, please come to me, you know, instead of buying your own. Because I promise you, you're going to have a really hard time with him. And you're going you're gonna to wish you had some help with it. So, I don't charge that much for him. <laughs> Compared to what... Compared to after, if you bought him on eBay or Mercari and you got him and all the time you put into him, I, I promise, like, I'm really not asking too much. But 
it's up to y'all, you know, I mean, some, some of y'all like the adventure, and that's okay, I like the adventure, so, but, some bases are just hard to work with, and those Disney bases, man, they really just give you a run for your money, it's not, not easy, okay, first, first thing a chain, decorated, what do you think, Jess, is that, is that some good stuff for your gliders to do? Okay, we're going to do a purple one now. What's the cutest thing to go? Let's do one of those, one of these. Okay, Jess, I had to ask you because not everyone likes spiders, but this is a really cute one. Do you want the cute spider? I think. <laughs> yeah, okay, so these, I love these. These are so thick, but they love to chew them, and it doesn't hurt their teeth. So I always put one of these on there. Okay, spiders are okay, or like that one's like decent enough to put on. It is purple. I just thought I'd want to put some Halloween stuff on it because I didn't put any Halloween on Sully because he's just too cute. If you don't like them, I can. Do what you Well, if you say that, I'm just going to say no. No on the spider. And then I'm going to put boba tea on it. So, either you want the spider or you don't. I mean, the spider's cute, but not everyone's in the spider. So, I'll just do the boba tea. <laughs> I'll do a little Shopkins bag because those are cute. Okay, spiders are fine. Okay, I'll do the spider. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. I'm like, I have to be guided somewhat. Because the spider will look cute, I think. And so how I attach these, and everyone asks me how I attach these, and I, I sort of make it a little funny. I wrap... I wrap the zip tie around their neck like a little collar. And that's how I attach them. So like that. Yeah. But it fits on a little better once it's fully zip tied. I was talking to Jessica and she's like, how do you do that? And I'm like, I just wrap it around like a collar. And she's like, that's brilliant. And I was like, I hope so. <laughs> I guess if they ever chew the zip tie off, like they get... They get the whole thing and they get to bring it in their pouch and enjoy it, you know, so. To each their own. But yeah, it fits, fits pretty good as a collar. Y'all don't tell my dentist. Okay, look at, I'm so sorry, but like, look how cute this freaking spider is on this chain. <laughs> oh it's so cute. It's just like hanging out. Like, what's up? And the cool thing about these things is you can slide them up and down, and your gliders can too. So these can slide like up and down. So, but that's cool. <laughs> I know it's so freaking adorable. I just can't. Ugh, I just can't with that. And I'm still going to put the boba tea on there because we're going to get all the things on the thing. And so with these, so these you can hang in a C-Link, but I think these are too heavy for C-Links. The C-Link's just going to break during shipping. And so I like to cut these off and just zip tie it on. And I just think that's just like a good rule of thumb. But you know what's really funny is whenever you cut these off, they fly. So watch this. Remember how I taught you guys to close your eyes? This is a good time for that. I don't even know where that went. <laughs> Straight up. I mean, that could be anywhere. So, you know, I'll, let, I'll, let, I'll sweep that up later, wherever it went. So, and then you just sand the hard, jagged edge of whatever you just clipped off. And now it's ready. <laughs> 
Sierra's like, oh my God, you could have just killed someone. And I could have. If there was someone to kill, I could have killed someone right then. But I didn't. No one to kill. <laughs> I know I can be funny sometimes. It's cool. Being funny is is is, is a good quality. I, I hear you know in some places. It can get you killed in other places. You know you can't be funny everywhere. You know can't be laughing during a funeral. That's disrespectful. I learned that the hard way in like fifth grade. It's not, you know, it's very heavily frowned upon. It's not cool. But you learn. You live and you learn. And you move on. You also don't laugh if someone has like a really bad bodily injury. You know, that's not cool either. And they're like, hey, you know, that wasn't, that wasn't cool. So, you just learn these things over time. Okay, so look at this. All these like hedge balls are like super huge from Jessica. And then I get this one. Sup, Jessica? No, just joking. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing me, it's probably like one I ordered from Amazon or something that like came out weird. I don't know. I... Weird. It's like a different size. Yeah, like you're playing with a BB gun with your cousin and you accidentally, you know, hit the can and it hits his eye and you're like, ha oh, ha, that's what they say. You'll shoot your eye out. But you didn't do it this time. Nah, you shouldn't do that. Should not. Not the right time. Not the right place. His eye is still bleeding profusely. You're the dick still. I mean, sorry, you're the jerk still. I'm so sorry for the kids who are watching. Sorry, I will make sure I don't do that again. <laughs> teether stick? Oh, the teether sticks. Oh, man, I made some really cool teether stuff um, a while ago. Let me see if I can pull up a picture on my Etsy. They're of course sold out, but I, I still need to make more because it's like a product that I really want to, you know, continue eventually. I just haven't had time to make more. Okay, so here's what I've done with teethers. These are different teethers than Jessica had, but you can sort of see I sort of just decked them out, put butterflies on them, threw some chain on them. And then there's this one. It was like a little purse. That was a teether. Sorry, you can't see it because the light. Yeah, I bet if I turn this light off, it wouldn't be so bad. Nope, still bad. Oh, well, what do you do? But yeah, that's sort of like what I do with teethers. Okay, second chain is decorated. Now we do the blue. And I love these little monkeys. Look at this little monkey for the blue. These are little fingerling monkeys. And you can get lots of them. 
like, and it's just called like a lot, like a fingerling lot. But you can get a lot of them on Mercari or eBay for really cheap because these are really old. And um, you can just put them on their toys real easy and just zip tie them on. I know, aren't they just freaking adorable? And they're so cheap. You can get like a lot of 30 of them for like 20 bucks on eBay. And I just put them on all my toys and they cling on to the chain. So like, it's even cuter. But yeah, I'll show you in just a second how I got this little buddy on here. I just, I loop their tails in. I look, I loop their, yeah, baby teething toys. So I think I even have the one she's probably talking about from Jessica because I buy everything from Jessica. But So another thing is, did y'all know that Goodwill has a shopping website that you can shop all of the items in the whole store in all of the stores and they will ship any item they have in any store to you. And after a certain amount of money spent, they will ship it for free. <laughs> See, look at this monkey. It's so cute. Yes, it's called goodwillfinds.com. I'll send y'all the link real quick. Let me just get it real quick. And I'll post it in the comments. This is what I call like my secret sauce. And so, and I even sent you the exact link to the direct toy channel. I'm telling y'all, I've got all the good advice and all the goodies to share. And their prices are super affordable. And, um, but the thing is, is that people watch it like crazy during the day. So like, if you put it in your cart, like don't guarantee it to be there 15 minutes later. Like I'm not joking. And so that's why I don't tell a lot of people about that website. That's why I'm sort of mentioning it later on in my broadcast. No problem. And I mean, if y'all tune in, like I've got tips like this like every week. So, I mean, I can just really hook y'all up with that kind of stuff. Um, I've definitely got tips and secrets and, you know, advice. And I want y'all to have the best stuff and the easiest time finding things. And, you know, I mean... It's taken me years to find the stuff that I have found and the good luck that I have bestowed upon my business. And I, I don't want y'all to have the same issues I have, you know, and a lot of people keep, you know, um, things a little secret, you know, when it comes to finding stuff. And some people will be, you know, more helpful, but I, I really want y'all to find the stuff that you need because I think everyone should be able to make the toys that they want. So, um if you ever have a question about finding something, please let me know. I'm willing to take time out of my day and help you find that toy that you're looking for, that base or, you know, something that you're looking for. I do want to help you with that. Okay, blue is almost fully decorated. We're getting there. I haven't even put like a single charm on this toy yet because I've just been decorating it. <laughs> Oh, 
Um, have you guys heard of AliExpress? Uh, thanks, Shannon. I'm glad I could help. So AliExpress, or I don't think it's called Alibaba Express. It's just called AliExpress. But you can buy, um, yeah, see, most people have heard of it. But, uh, you know, you can buy these, like, glow-in-the-dark butterflies that are, like, big. But they're actually pretty affordable. And um, they come in different colors, and they are just beautiful, like just so beautiful. And if you really just want to snazz up a toy real good, get those glow-in-the-dark butterflies. But they have a whole bunch of other toy-making supplies and some really great stuff. Oh my goodness, we were able to fit everything but one blue supply. And don't worry, I picked all the best ones, so you really didn't miss out. So, I really tried my best on that. We got all the good ones. Pick that one. There we go. Sweet. Okay, here's how it's looking so far. Look how decked out that is. That's awesome. And I've still got two more chains to do. And then we can all go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so white, white chain, I usually like to decorate with wood. Because as we all know, with black and white, there's never much to decorate when it comes to charms or when it comes to objects in general. Um, and I like to keep mine themed, and if there's not much in the monster realm that I can decorate a toy with, I'm going to wood, because wood is so good for your glider's teeth. And um, this is poplar wood. Whenever you're drilling into wood, you want to drill into the middle of it, because if you drill up here at the top, your glider's going to start chewing at the top, because they start chewing at the top, and they go around and around and around and around to the middle. But if you drill at the top and, and attach it at the top by a zip tie, then they're gonna chew right to that zip tie and guess what happens? It's gone. Oh no. You know, and, and there goes a good piece of wood. And I mean, they'll bring it to their pouch if they catch it in time and they'll eat it, you know. I mean, it's still, still gonna be used. But if you, if you drill in the middle and attach it in the middle, even though you have this long zip tie hanging there, it's going to last longer on your toy, and they're going to have a lot more use out of it. So always drill in the middle of wood. Just a little hint. But yeah, we're going to cover this one strand with all the wood we can fit on it. And I love these little wood pieces. Like these are just like real thick, like circles of wood. Take them forever to gnaw through them. And then here are wooden beads. So I put these on large ceilings. And they don't need a ceiling close because they are the ceiling close. So you just slip it on like this, slip it over your chain, and then close it just like so. I'm going to do one more of those at the bottom of the chain. It's sort of separated a little. We're heading towards the end of the toy, y'all. We're getting there. Oh, 
Okay. And I love these little, these little spiral spins, these little gears, wooden gears. So cute. And uh, the gliders just love them because they're little jagged edges, but they're not sharp. And so it gives their teeth a little, a little variety of texture, a little textured chew. Okay. That's all the wood I can fit on that piece. And now we're to our last piece of chain to decorate. And that's one more purple. And I'm going to fit all the fun stuff on this one. So we're going to do a little fun. Let's see. Jessica. Or Jess. Sorry. Just Jess. Do you want this at the bottom or this at the bottom? This can hold honey sticks right through here. And this is just fun to chew. So which one would you like? At the bottom. Chew? Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, perfect. We'll get that on there. Now, this is a, a ob obviously it's a sea monster or a squid, but it looks like a monster. So I didn't know if you wanted me to include it, but it would be your only, your only rubber chew that would match your theme. Do you want me to use it? Okay, that's what I, I would use it. I mean, I love those little rubber chews, and your your babies will love them too. And I was like, I mean, it looks like a monster. It looks like something you'd see out of that movie, don't you think? I think so. And it matches that color of that chain too perfectly. So uh, it's just such a good idea. You're like, girl, I'm not going to tell you again. Use your imagination. Like, I know. I know. Okay, and these are really cool. So I haven't explained this before, but these are really cool. So you can put these on large sea links, and you can put yogis or little treats in each one of these holes. And they will stay in there, and they forage each one of these holes to get the treat out. It is so cool. Like, these are the coolest thing. They're called marabella beads. Marabella beads, I think. So, but I just love them. And gliders love them too. Once they figure out what they are, you have to fill them for them to figure it out. But nice and bulky. Okay. Get this little chewy on here, this little bat. Okay. That way you have some more chewies on there and you have a few other black, uh, you know, you have some black zip ties on there so it won't completely offset the toy. But it does have purple in it, so it's not the worst. Okay. And then I'll add this little cup, and I think we'll be through. Okay, that 
it's beautiful. And I want to make this just one more shorter because it seems to fit better if I make it just one more shorter. Okay, now I'm making my last touches to the toy and then I'll show all of you what it looks like. But it came out perfect. Looks like I'm gonna reattach the last thing of the large piece of wood because it's a little bit too low to the ground for my liking. Just wanna make it look perfect. Okay, and I think it literally is perfect now. There's no other way to make it more perfect. Let me, I think I'm going to change the zip tie in the hand. It looks to be a little loose. Let me just put it with a bigger zip tie. way it'll hold on better. Because you're asking that little zip tie to do a lot of work. Okay. Oh, Jesse's came out so perfect. So jealous. <laughs> How cute. Trying to best manage the zip tie so it can hold all the weight of the chain. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Got it all on there. It's all looking good. Swing it around here. Zip tie it in the back. It's got a much thicker zip tie. It'll hold on better and hold it in tighter. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Can't wait for you to see it, Jess.
go. Okay. Rearranging the chain so it all lays nicely. bulky pieces so you want it to lay right otherwise it just looks like one big lump Here we go. You guys ready to see it? Woo! Just a little more, a little more ways. Okay. Lay right, darn it. There we go. What do you guys think? Oh, I think y'all, this is freaking cute. Uh, thank you. I'm so glad you learned so much. And tune in next week. We're going to let me go ahead and see what the poll said. And so we know what to expect next week. Yeah, it looks like we're going to do the Wood Waterfall uh, Mufasa and Simba toy next Tuesday. So tune in for that because it'll be really interesting to know how to work with wood and how to prepare the wood. So you guys will definitely want to be a part of that. But yeah, here's, and look on the inside of Mike, isn't, isn't he all pretty? And see those holes in there, how clean they are? You can see right through them. Those are going to be perfect for drainage. So nice and clean. Mr. Mike, look at all that decoration. Just so much stuff going on here. So much to do. So much to chew. So, okay, y'all. Well, does anyone have questions about uh, when their order is, um, when to expect their order? Does anyone have any questions on toy supplies, on toy tips, on instructions on cleaning, Mr. Clean? <laughs> does anyone have any other questions um, at all about anything or are we ready to end for the night? Okay. And and uh Adeline, uh 
please tell your mother that her order is being done tomorrow. Oh, I just totally messed up my hair. Okay, t please tell her that her order is being done tomorrow. Man, really? Man, I can't believe I just did that. Oh, well. Okay. Well, the video is being over because I messed up my hair. I'll see y'all next Tuesday. Sounds good? See you then.